Brian Zorowski. I'm AJ Shaw. And I'm Braden Schmidt. And welcome to the Finsiders in, in Davie, Florida. We're here to talk about, our today's topics will be Marcus Mariota, Brandon Marshall, and some other breaking news that may come today. First topic today is Marcus Mariota. Do you think he'll be able to start off the bat, AJ? Well, you know, obviously Johnny Manziel last year, a lot of people, you know, recognized him to be a great quarterback, just like Marcus Mariota. However, I mean, he's going to start because they have nobody else left on the roster. I mean, Jake Locker retired this offseason, Chase Wisenhunt. Uh, it's just, you know, I feel like he is going to start, but it might take him a couple of weeks, you know, to get into the offensive system of Ken Wisenhunt. Uh, what do you have to think? Um... Like AJ was saying, I'd be concerned if I were the Tennessee Titans uh, due to what Johnny Manziel did last year. Um, if you look at last year, his first game he started with the Cleveland Browns. Um, he got shut out. I think it was 40-something to zero. And for the rest of the season, he did not perform very well. Um, Johnny Manziel isn't as close. Um, he's very, very, very talented quarterback and a very good all-around player, but I don't think he's as close as Marcus Mariota can be. Nevertheless, I still think the t Tennessee Titans should be concerned if um, if Marcus Mariota were to start the first game of the season. I, th I don't think they should be concerned about Mariota starting. I think they should be concerned about is that Mariota has a lack of weapons on the outside because Mariota can only do so much. He's a very skilled player. I think he's NFL quality week one. But I think he needs some weapons, and I'd advise them to definitely try to sign some people from the off, the free agency, trade some draft picks. Yeah, uh, it would it would just do better for the team, and maybe trying to make the record somewhat decent. Because Ken, yeah, because Kendall Wright isn't going to do anything. Exact for exactly. You can't have a, one veteran receiver. They're going to double cover this guy, and they won't have anybody to to use. All right, let's go to Mar Brandon Marshall, shall we? All right. You think you think the Bears underpaid for Brandon Marshall? Uh, yes, and I don't think it was also a good move to trade Brandon Marshall. I mean, he did just get injured, but he was coming back off of um, his injury. He was getting better. He was in training camp. And um, trading him to the Jets, Jets, um, in my opinion, don't have a very good chance of making the playoffs this year. Um, and uh, I can see why they picked them, but uh, on the Bears' side of things, I don't think it was a very good move. And Brandon Marshall was just coming off of injuries, and we look at and we, if, if we look at the 2013 season, the 2012 season, and how dominant he was as a receiver, and you also have Alshon Jeffrey, and you have um, all the other wide receivers for the Bears that are NFL quality, and they've have been, and they've been dominant. Alshon Jeffrey also got hurt last season, that's why he wasn't there. So. For the Bears to trade Brandon Marshall and take one more step away from Alshon Jeffrey and put all the um, put all the pressure on him um, would be pretty bad because both of them were just coming off of injury. Alshon's going to need some help. I'm not saying it's all on him, you know. We, we there are um, other receivers for the Bears that Jay Cutler can go to, but I'm saying as Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall, you know, both coming off of injuries, I think Alshon Jeffrey needed some support, and it was not a very good move by the Bears. I think it was the exact opposite. I, I think I think it I think it would be better if they got rid of him because he was causing too many locker room problems. Uh, because he was arguing with Jay Cutler, he was uh, belligerent with the media. He we've had multiple reports say that he yelled at reporters. I think I think that it was it, you, you sh they should have gotten more. I think they would have should have traded him in my opinion to the Raiders so that they could have gotten Amari Cooper and Kevin White, and that would have strengthened their team a lot more. That's true, but he was he did get uh, it was an underpaid trade for the Jets. If if I were um, if I were the Bears, I would have sent them to uh, a team with a very high salary cap and um, charge a little bit more for him. Mm -mm. I I mean I agree. What's the, look look at this. Look at this. We got break. We got breaking news out of uh, ESPN headquarters. Andrew Corliss has been suspended indefinitely after discharging a firearm in public. I what, what do you think this will have any impact on uh, on the Packers and the perfor the performance? Again, this just they, in, 
This just in, yeah. Andrew Corliss uh, arrested and suspended indefinitely for discharging a firearm. Oh, I mean, this is going to hurt him a lot. The Packers do not have a great, efficient tight end, and that's what people around the league need nowadays. Tight end is a huge position in the NFL, just like running back. Well, and if we look at... Yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, if we can look I finish? At, can I finish? Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, the Packers, they don't have a Gronkowski. They don't have a Martellus Bennett or a Jimmy Graham. They are going to struggle at that position this year. But, however, do I think they're out of it yet? No, they're not. They still have a great team. They have one of the best quarterbacks in the game in Aaron Rodgers. I think they'll just be fine. I, uh, what were you going to say? Uh, well, if you look at um, – I'm just bringing this up very shortly. Um, that If you look at the uh, FCS National Championship Division One um, at Illinois State's um, program, there's um, O'Shaughnessy. He came from uh, Naperville, Illinois. And he he got dra he got drafted by the Chiefs. He was a very good player when he was playing at Illinois State. And I think, just as AJ said, the tight end game is a very um, important game for the NFL. All right, I'm Frank Zaraski. AJ Shaw. And Brian Schmidt. And thank you for watching the Finsiders from Davie, Florida. Signing out.